everybody, it's Sammy, and I just finished um, completing this project that I wanted to share with you. It's um, an altered desktop calendar caddy, and I picked this up in my uh, local AC Moore in the unfinished wood section. They have such a great unfinished wood section at my AC Moore, and um, yeah, I thought this little caddy calendar was just really, really cute. And I wanted to alter it for a friend who's a teacher, so I used the... Um, Graphic 45 ABC Primer Collection, and I also use some really pretty flowers from um, I Am Roses as well. So, um, let me let me tell you what I did. Um, first of all, the um, to finish the wood, I use like a um, a pecan stain and sealer, and so yeah, I like how that came out. And then um, just love the color; it's really rich. And then you know, and then I just kind of covered the. Um, the caddy with uh, the calendar caddy with the you know paper the paper collection and um, what I wanted to do here was um, I wanted to mount this is one of those um, frames from Michaels those really really pretty vintage frames and the color of that frame just went so well with the paper collection that I wanted to incorporate it into the um, caddy because the caddy didn't come with that so I kind of uh, disassembled the frame and then I mounted it to, um, I, I die cut the uh, Baroque die, Tim Holtz Baroque die. And I have some cord graphic 45 coordinations paper in the background. And um, yeah, and then I mounted that to the caddy. And I'll show you right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. So yeah, it's it's um, mounted to the caddy. And I use that like Gorilla Glue, so it, it's not going nowhere. And um I liked how it came out, and the, the image is from the paper collection, so, um, really pretty image. So, yeah, so I thought that was really cute. I like how it came out, and then, um, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I just have a little kind of lace here, and I'll just show you what this looks like without the numbers so you can see. Um, and then I finished the blocks with the pecan stain as well, and then these blocks too, the date blocks, the month blocks. And let's see, and then I have um, some really pretty I Am Roses flowers here. This is a one inch rose and a burgundy, really, really pretty. And then I have um, pretty cherry blossom here. And um, it's crackle accented to make it look a little bit more vintage. And then over here I have this really pretty um, half inch rose. No, oh, actually, I think it might be a quarter inch rose because it's kind of tiny. And he's really cute in like a um, a vintage a yellow color that goes really well with the collection as well. And then on the sides here, I, ha I fussy cut this image from the collection, and I have him sitting on top of a Tim Holtz book plate that I kind I cut out, um, and you know, and I use some brads here, and I uh, use my espresso wash um, to stain the book plate. It's just chipboard. And okay, and then that's that side, and then on the other side over here. I have a, one of the GB3 gardenias from I Am Roses, a feather, um, a guinea feather, a couple of the white rosebuds from I Am Roses, and then I have like a little vintage key here from Tattered Angels with some seam binding that I had stained with um, the, uh, I watered down some um, vintage photo distress ink reinker and um, used that. And then let's see what else. And then on this other side, I have a... Uh, another little book plate and I, cut, I fussy cut this cute little gal from the paper collection and she's sitting on top of the book plate and then I just finished the back as well with the paper collection super cute paper collection and then um, all the edging like I you know sanded down on the ed edges and everything and I used the new Tim Holtz I think it's called Gathered Twigs Distress Ink and it's really really pretty I really like how the um, distressing came out with that and I, I guess everybody if you want to join me in just asking Tim Holtz and Ranger to please carry that color because it was introduced as a seasonal color but it's really great it's a really great brown and so it was wonderful for um, you know this kind of a vintage toned project so yeah so that's the calendar part and um, then on the back is the um, little caddy and um, it came with a little pad back here and it was really kind of sad let me show you the sad little pad that came with it. It's kind of yucky. So I didn't want to leave that in there and it just doesn't even, you know, go or match anything because, okay, yeah, so I didn't really care for the um, 
pad that came with it too much. So I created all, my own little thing and I call it a little tag jotter. And um, what it is is I used the Tim Holtz um, tag die um, to, to create this. And um, I, it was a little too tall. It would have been sticking up past the, um, um, you know, the mounting for the frame. So I trimmed it a little bit and then I, yeah, and I embellished the front. I have like did a lot of fussy cutting here from with images from the paper collection um, and then some more seam binding that I had dyed with the vintage photo. I have a binder ring and then I have another um, cherry blossom here that's been crackle accented. I have these little rose buds and then a half inch um, vintage colored yellow rose and um, yeah and then I just have some lace here and a little I think this is a Melissa Francis corner piece, resin corner piece. And then this is a little corner piece um, that I had picked up. I think it's Bead Landing at Michael's. You can find that there. So really, really cute. And then what I did was, um, oh, and this this little chalkboard, isn't that cute? I picked that up at AC More too. And it was unfinished, so I finished it with the um, gathered twigs. And then I gave it, like, um, I rubbed some... St uh, rock candy stickles in it as well so it has a little bit of a shimmer so yeah it's really cute and then what I did was um, you know the other side is finished as well and then I just have like some uh, craft tags here where um, you know she can write use this just to write some notes and you know jot some things down and then um, the back is finished as well with, the, with uh, the paper collection. So yeah, and these are chipboard. Um, the cover and the back are chipboard. So really, really cute. And I thought it came out great. And then this just kind of slides real easily back in there. So, you know, it doesn't stick out past the, um, the frame. So yeah, so that's my little project for today. Um, yeah, and it just, if you haven't seen this calendar before, these little blocks slide out so you can um, easily kind of change up your month and your date, um, you know, with these little guys. So really cute. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or anything, just um, leave them in the comments box below or send me a private message and um, be happy to, to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Get back to you. Bye.